Sometimes you go on set and the actor or the actress doesn't have that much experience firing guns and they haven't had enough training uh, beforehand and so you walk on the set and they literally don't know what to expect from firing a gun. So in those cases if you can, you practice beforehand but a lot of time the shot, the first shot they fire is going to be on screen. So you need to teach them proper mechanics and let them dry fire the gun first at least once uh, before you fire it. Um, so you teach them how to stand and assuming that they're allowed to use both hands and you just get their whole body into it and stand proper uh, you let them put their, put their front leg forward a little bit hold the gun in their hand the right way, keeping their finger off the trigger support it with their off hand bring it up to their eye line keep their wrist locked tight because with blank firing guns you need to really hold the gun steady or it's going to jam lean forward a little bit at the hips and then you let them drive fire the gun and you do that, and you tell them that there's no recoil, because with blanks there really isn't. Um, but while there's no recoil, you have to hold this gun more steady than you have to hold a live firing gun to get it to work. And mechanically, it has to be held um, without any, any give to it at all, or the gun's not going to cycle the action, it's not going to work properly. Um, so you teach everyone basically to focus on locking the wrist, locking their elbow, and really holding the gun still. Um, lots of times you have an action sequence and they'll want to have the gun wave around or be jumping through the air and flying and, and they just won't be able to get the gun to work. So you have to keep it simple sometimes. Uh, one of the things the armor has to do on set is hand the weapons to the actors. Uh, half the time it's going to be an empty gun you're handing off, and half the time it's going to be a loaded gun. Uh, and there's a protocol for both of them. So the first thing you do is you always show to the actor that the gun is empty. You do that by ejecting the magazine, showing them there's nothing in it, and then you pull back on the, on the slide and let them inspect the chamber themselves so they know that they're not going to fire the gun. Um, then you hand the actor the gun, you tell everyone on set, empty gun on set, you let them do the scene, and immediately when they say cut, you're the first one in and you take the gun. Angelina um, demonstrated that she has a lot of training and experience with firearms. Um, she, she was really excellent. Her gun never jammed once the whole time I was on set. Um, and she, she knows how to hold the gun. She knows how to handle the gun. She double taps. Everything she does is proper. One thing that really impressed me about the way that she works is uh, you often get actors who when they're firing the gun you don't get the sense that they're aiming and trying to hit a target which you're not trying to do with blanks you're just trying to get the gun to work and make it look convincing you're acting um, but she has this way of firing that you really get the idea that she's trying to hit a target um, a lot of actors you'll see them swinging their arm towards the mark and already be pulling the trigger before they get there um, but she's really convincing. She always hits her mark, and then, then that's when she pulls the trigger. So it, you actually get the sense that she's aiming, but able to do it in this really quick, high-pressure moment. Uh, you get the impression she would be good at it if, if she was using live ammo in, in a pressure situation like that.